Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're already a subscriber, I'm so glad you're here. This is gonna be a short and sweet bonus type of reading. We're gonna be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time. What does Gemini need to know about the person they are in a connection with spirit? Love messages for Gemini, please regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Gemini's spirit? What are their feelings towards Gemini at this time? The person that Gemini is thinking about. What are their thoughts or feelings at this time? Princess of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. Interesting. So they might want to communicate something here. They could be observing you or vice versa online, social media. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Your thoughts or feelings towards Gemini, please. Wow. Ace of Cups. All right. <laughs> Well, they feel love towards you. A lot of emotion here with the Ace of Cups, a lot. Uh, new love, the beginning of love. A new beginning in love. Just love that overflows. What else for how this person thinks or feels about Gemini? About Gemini, what are their feelings towards Gemini? For this connection spirit three of swords interesting pain disappointment heartbreak could also be third party for some of you we'll see when I clarify later on very interesting and then I have the Queen of Cups reversed um, for the th that three of swords card so definitely something that was very uh, devastating emotionally difficult uh, for your person, maybe they cause heartbreak. Um, maybe they're dealing with a painful situation of their own. So let's get some more insight here. I'm going to use my homemade oracle deck for what this person would say to you if they could for Gemini spirit. What would this person tell Gemini if they had the chance? Any other insight into this person's heart space what this person tell Gemini if they could what this person tell Gemini if they could spirit it's almost like they want to talk to you and say hey um, I still love you I'm sorry for whatever was difficult or I love you but I'm in a difficult situation Okay, we got the two cards here. What do you have here? Divine timing is at play. Okay, and is it too late? Timing, interesting. So timing is important. Divine timing is at play. Is it too late? Interesting. Maybe a lot of time has passed here uh, from when you were with this person, Gemini, or maybe when you originally met this person, it wasn't the right time, but now it can be. Spirit is involved here. So let's get into this. Let's look at their intentions towards you and what actions they'll take start with their intentions spirit tell me about this person's intentions towards Gemini I am so sorry about the noise in the background if you can hear it they're doing yard work or cutting the grass next door for Gemini what is this person's true intentions okay. using the Barbara Moore deck right here okay what is this person's true intentions towards Gemini the Empress reverse huh 
who is that is what I just I was like uh who is this okay I'll clarify later what are their true intentions towards Gemini high priestess and the nine of wands reverse of course it's like the loudest lawnmower ever Who is this Empress reversed? <laughs> I just keep thinking that because I, I didn't immediately think, you know, the Empress reverse could be something that's not growing, not manifesting, uh, someone controlling. But, the, you know, I didn't think about not growing or not manifesting. I immediately thought someone controlling and someone who's like a jilted ex-lover. We're going to have to clarify that and see. And then the high priestess, something's not being communicated or someone's keeping their true feelings to themselves here. This could be obvious. This is your person, but, you know, feel free to flip this if it resonates. This could be all about your person or all about you, Gemini. But to avoid confusion, I'm just going to say this is your person, how they feel about you. And there's something that they're not saying. And then with the Knight of Wands reversed, it's like no longer wanting to, it's like that like they're ready to give up, uh, their walls are down, no longer defensive. Interesting. So let's, let's go into what actions they'll take and then I'll start clarifying all of these. So what actions? What actions will this person take towards Gemini? What actions will this person take towards Gemini? What actions will this person take towards Gemini? Oh my gosh, I hope you can't hear that so loud knight of wands reverse what actions will this person take towards gemini seven of swords interesting i think i see what this what's happening here what actions will this person take Towards Gemini. Eight of Cups reversed. So I'm seeing a few things here, Gemini. After I've laid down all these cards, now I see why this Three of Swords is here. Um, I feel like your person's intentions are to come clean possibly here to no longer be dealing with a difficult situation. I think this difficult situation your person is in is possibly due to an emperor's reverse. This could be anybody. I'm going to figure that out in a second. Um, but I think your person's actions are really what kind of complicate this whole thing. Um, Knight of Wands reverse. A player like energy unable to commit unable to stick around for a long time, unable to be like, you can't rely on this person. Um, you can't trust what they say. They just want to have a good time. Seven of swords, someone shifty, sneaky, deceptive, avoiding uh, a situation, trying to kind of run away or escape. And then eight of cups reverse. So it's almost like, it's almost like your person wants to return to you, but give you the same old, same old, this three of swords, pain and disappointment. Even if they might love you a lot, even if they might want to talk to you, um, you know, I just don't see that their actions 
are good actions here. Yeah, I don't see them kind of doing like a, a turnaround, but we'll see. Let's clarify these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Gemini. Help me clarify these messages for Gemini, please. Let's start with this page of swords up here. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry about the background noise, guys. What is this page of swords doing here, Spirit? What is this about? I want this one. Oh, okay. Tower. So they want to talk about a tower moment, either a tower that they created or a tower that you experienced with them. Five of swords reverse at the bottom. So this must have been some sort of fight uh, or a difficult ending between you. Maybe someone was deceptive in a connection um, and it caused a tower. So they want to talk about this. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Three of Wands. I just heard, is it too late? <laughs> Three of Wands. Someone waiting uh, with expectation. Um, possibly they want to send you a message and are wondering if, if how you're going to respond. Um, waiting for the right time. So why the Three of Swords? Why is the Three of Swords here, Spirit, for Gemini? Whoa, <laughs> what is happening? Ace of Pentacles? A new opportunity and then there's a Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, what? A successful offer or an offer for success here, an opportunity for success. Your person's thinking about an opportunity with you. But there's a three of swords here. Can I get one more for this three of swords? Why is this three of swords here? The sun reversed. So there's something here that's not very clear maybe hidden as well because I have the high priestess and then ten of swords at the bottom so it's like something that you don't really know about an ending you put it's probably an ending that is hidden from you or someone's true feelings about an ending um, you, you don't know about if that makes sense again there could be um, unhappiness um, disappointment in this connection and then someone wants to bring you an offer in the midst of that so let's get down here what's this empress reverse what is what is this emperor's reverse doing here who is this tell me about the emperor's reverse spirit what is this emperor's reverse doing here ten of swords interesting This empress could have caused an ending or your person's ending something with an empress. This could be you as well. You could be this empress reversed. Um, someone who is um, was left behind by this person. They're not happy this empress reverse. Tell me about the empress reverse, please. Can I get one more? Five of Wands. Conflict, arguing, disagreements. Bottom of the deck, Two of Pentacles. This could be the other woman or the other man. Um, or there was a decision that had to be made by your person with this Empress. Um, going back and forth about maybe this ending. 
this is your person's true intentions. So it could be that this already happened or they're about to do this, possibly put an end to something because it's extremely toxic or draw is full of drama. This is this is a mess here with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. Tell me about the High Priestess. What is being hidden here? Let me move these over. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Sorry, why is the High Priestess here? The Fool. Interesting. So your person's intentions is to have a new beginning, to take a risk, a leap of faith, but they're keeping this to themselves. So why, why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Why is the Nine of Wands reversed? Ace of Swords. Again with the communication. Your third ace in this reading. Your person probably got clarity as well about this. Wow, and then I have the Ace of Wands reversed. There's all four aces. Your person could have could be getting clarity about something that's not working, that's that never took off, that didn't manifest. Um, they could be wanting to communicate about something that didn't work, didn't manifest, want to give up the fight, no longer be so guarded, so protective over their feelings, over their, you know. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. So your person's intentions and how they feel, I mean, it has to do with communication. They want to talk. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, and they want to talk about what didn't move forward. Chariot reversed. Cancer energy. They want to talk about, you know, the choice they made or how they came to a choice or a decision um, or what happened between you. This is their intentions. However, their actions could be something completely different here. We can have all the intentions in the world. Um, isn't that saying the road the road to hell is paved with good intentions? We can have all of the good intentions that, you know, we want to have, but are we going to act on those intentions? That's really what's going to matter here. So let's see. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Reverse. Move this over. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Knight of Swords. Again, with the communi communication, I'm telling you, someone wants to talk to you bad. And not only just talk to you, but like, get this moving. Why the Knight of Swords? Why the Knight of Swords, Spirit? Five of Swords Reverse. I'm telling you, they want to talk about what happened. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Um, another three. The third three. Um, I have a Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles now. Uh, there could be a third party situation here where your person could have chosen someone else, is dealing with someone else, or um, there's someone currently in between you. And I feel like that they want to possibly talk about how they couldn't commit to you as well. The judgment reverse just fell out. You know, their judgment was blocked or they made bad judgment calls. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords about? What's the Seven of Swords about? Ace of Wands reverse. Got all four aces on the board here. Again, you know, their own actions, you know, whatever the Seven of Swords is, I don't think it's going to start anything new or help this progress. What's at the bottom? 
the star, Aquarius energy, hope, faith, renewal. It's like someone's trying to, has hope or a wish and their approach is what gets them in trouble because their approach is not making things progress here. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords, please? For Gemini. Ah, no. Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's no movement here. Someone is kind of just in their head, not seeing a way out, overthinking a situation, trapping themselves. Your person's approach is going to leave them stuck. And there you are, Gemini, at the bottom of the deck, the lovers. Um, a choice between the head and the heart. It's like your person you know by being sneaky by by being deceptive by keeping something to themselves with this high priestess um, by trying to sneak away they trap themselves and I feel like it's because again the choice was not made with the best intention you know um they could be stuck in a partnership as well, trapped in a partnership, but this is of their own making. I feel like they eventually will probably um, move, move forward, move on from whatever's keeping them stuck. Let's see, tell me about this Eight of Cups reverse. Eight of Cups reverse can also mean it doesn't just mean returning to what you left. It also means being blocked from leaving. So we'll see. Why is this Eight of Cups reverse here for Gemini? Six of Wands. Interesting. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups reverse? Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles again. So I don't think they're going to be um, kept from leaving a situation. Um, I think they're, they want to return. And they want to return because they, they see success here. Um, but at the same time, they're thinking, how, how do I make sure that I'm successful? 